Max Verstappen has been reading up on his Formula One tabloids, and he didn't like what he saw from McLaren's racing CEO, Zach Brown. The Flying Dutchman sees Zach Brown's recent comments as nothing but an attempt to spice up the Formula One narrative following the bombshell news about Adrian Newey. On the cusp of the Miami Grand Prix, the news broke that Adrian Newey, an iconic figure in Formula One design history, will part ways with Red Bull Racing by the first quarter of 2025. Despite this early announcement, his active engagement with the Formula One team has already concluded. Brown weighed in on the Newey situation, expressing his lack of surprise given the tumultuous off-track events that shook Red Bull earlier this year. He hinted at Newey being just the beginning, labelling him as potentially the first domino in a chain reaction, given the number of those from Red Bull seeking new opportunities. Brown suggested that Red Bull's staff may now be contemplating their own career trajectories. Verstappen isn't buying into such speculation, dismissing Brown's remarks as classic tactics from an F1 competitor looking to capitalise on any hint of vulnerability. The current world champion said he obviously wants to stir things up. For us as a team, we can't do anything with comments like that. From his point of view, I understand it, of course, because everyone is trying to attract our people, and that is completely normal in the world of Formula One as well. But I'm not really interested in those things either. I see the headlines, but I don't even click on them. While poised for a fourth consecutive drivers' championship with Red Bull, Verstappen's future at the team remains a hotly debated topic. Mercedes's team principal, Toto Wolff, hasn't been shy about his desire to bring Verstappen on board, adding fuel to the ongoing speculation. Asked about the impact of Newey's departure on his future, Verstappen downplayed any direct correlation, suggesting that the media often misinterprets the roles within Red Bull Racing involving Newey. Verstappen's response was more nuanced, leaning towards a not right now rather than an outright no, indicating a potential consideration for how Newey's exit might influence his future at Red Bull. He said, Not at the moment. I think people in the press, they're making up a lot of things at the moment because they don't understand how the roles were in the team. But of course, like I said before, I cannot deny that I would have preferred him to stay just for how he is as a person, his knowledge, and of course what he will bring to potentially another team if he wants to join. Besides that, I trust that the people that we have, they are incredibly good at what they do. Verstappen said that several key figures at Red Bull are under long-term contracts yet acknowledge the importance of considering the human element in these decisions. For example, his own contract with Red Bull, but Mercedes has set its sights on him as a potential successor to Lewis Hamilton, who is bound for Ferrari, should Verstappen grow unhappy with his current team. Verstappen feels like he is on the same boat with those at Red Bull under long-term contracts, saying that such agreements don't guarantee absolute retention if individuals are unhappy with their situations. He added, In life, you can never guarantee everything. It's also possible that I won't wake up tomorrow morning, so in the end, you never know things 100% for sure in life anyway. Of course, a lot of agreements are made, but in the end, it's also about everyone being happy with their work and feeling appreciated within the team. There are a lot of human aspects involved as well. His words seem to carry a tone of growing dissatisfaction with his current contract. Should he decide that he's had enough of Christian Horner and Red Bull, his favourite advisor is more than happy to make his exit happen. A report suggests that the Helmut Marco clause in Max Verstappen's contract with Red Bull could serve as a strategic tool for his potential departure from the team. The ongoing speculation about Verstappen's future has centred around whether he will stay with Red Bull or not, with Helmut Marco potentially having a big role in shaping this outcome. Verstappen has stated that his current focus remains with Red Bull, but his father, Jos, suggested in a recent interview with Race Express that they are also considering the future beyond 2025, when Formula One regulations undergo changes. Verstappen Sr. said, I think everyone wants him, only I think Max is right for the moment. He has a fast car, but we also have to look further to 2026, so we are letting everything come to us at the moment. We stay very calm and see what will happen. The Formula One landscape is set for a major transformation post-2025, with revamped chassis and engine regulations shaping a new era for the sport, while Red Bull's powertrains division aims to elevate the team to engine manufacturer status. The road ahead is fraught with challenges. Red Bull faces stiff competition from seasoned engine builders like Mercedes, Ferrari and Honda, highlighting the steep learning curve and hurdles they must overcome to maintain their competitive edge in the evolving Formula One environment.
Red Bull's concerns are complicated by the absence of design maestro Adrian Newey as they enter the new regulation cycle. Verstappen's sentiments in Miami revealed a preference for Adrian Newey to stay with Red Bull. While he has not explicitly stated any plans to leave the team, he has also refrained from definitively committing to staying until the end of his current contract. According to a BBC report, Verstappen could potentially exit his contract due to a Helmut Marco clause inserted without Christian Horner's knowledge. This clause, reportedly introduced by Marco in his capacity as a Red Bull director, adds a layer of complexity to Verstappen's contractual situation. Marco has assured Verstappen that he will support his desires, indicating that if Verstappen opts to depart from Red Bull, Marco could facilitate this by resigning from Red Bull. In such a scenario, Verstappen would follow Newey's path, potentially seeking fresh opportunities elsewhere in Formula One. At the end of the day, it all comes down to which team has the fastest car, because Max Verstappen is apparently afraid of competition. Verstappen finds greater fulfilment in dominating races rather than winning closely contested battles with rivals. He has become used to commanding victories with substantial leads over the past couple of years, showcasing both his and Red Bull's superiority on the Formula One grid. When asked about his preference between winning a thrilling, closely fought race to the chequered flag against an evenly matched rival, or securing commanding victories with 20-second leads, Verstappen responded with a smile. At least 20 seconds, that's for me. I've raced so much in my life in close combat, I enjoy a lot more if we can actually nail the car and are 100% sure that we can win by a big margin. But of course, that's not what fans want to hear. With rumours and speculation about his future in Formula One showing up left and right, especially regarding whether he'll stay with Red Bull until the end of his contract in 2028, Verstappen revealed that he no longer has specific goals he aims to accomplish in the sport. Well, not anymore in Formula One, he said. In F1, for me, it's about just trying to stay where I am at the moment and, of course, trying to win more because I have achieved already everything that I wanted to achieve in the sport. I want to do all different kinds of racing outside of F1 at one point, so I definitely won't be here until I'm 40 years old. I'd have to keep on winning until 2028, so we'll have a look. Verstappen's early setbacks in the 2024 season, having lost two of the first six races and facing more defeats than in all of 2023, have not dampened his passion for Formula One. He mentioned that his disappointment at being beaten highlights his enduring love for the sport, indicating his intent to remain a fixture in F1 for the foreseeable future. He said, I get annoyed, of course, when it's things that we could have prevented. I think it's good that I still get annoyed at it. Because if I don't get annoyed at it, it means that I don't care. When you don't care, you don't give 100% anymore. I think that's where you start questioning yourself, do I want this? I like winning. I like being on top. I like working with all the great people that we have in the team. Always trying to just be as close as possible to perfection, I think that is what really motivates me. What do you think? Do you agree with Max Verstappen's opinion on Zach Brown's comments? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.